take a look at rotational symmetry. So rotational symmetry is based on the idea, again, that we're going to map onto itself. But in this case, the symmetry is found by the rotating of the shape and not the reflecting. So if we started with an isosceles triangle, the question is, is as I begin to rotate that between 0 and 360 degrees, will I ever map onto myself? So these aren't perfect diagrams, but you'll get the idea. So here is my triangle, and the, as I rotate it 90, I'm not on itself. As I rotate it 180, I'm not on myself. As I go 270, and then finally back to 360, I am back onto myself. This is a rotational order of one. One time around an angle of 360 degrees. This is another way of saying no rotational symmetry. So order of one means no rotational symmetry. Here is our, uh, our rectangle. And as we begin to rotate it 90 degrees, we don't match up. We rotate it 180, ding, 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 we hit it. If we go to 270, we're not there, and then back to 360. This has an order of 2 because we mapped onto itself at 180 and as well as at 360. This has an order of 2 and it has an angle value of 180. We use the smallest angle that produces the rotational symmetry. Here if we have an equilateral, and again this may not be a perfect one, I've just kind of hand drawn this, but the idea is that as we rotate this, well, this one's a little unique in its rotational angle value. Maybe I'll help myself out here a little bit. I'm going to note that these would be 120 degree turns here because of the three equal sides. But as we rotate 120 degrees, bam, we hit it. As we go another 120, bam, we hit it. And then finally, back to where we began. This has a rotational order of 3. And the angle size is 120. Let's look at the parallelogram. It has uh, at uh, 90, we're here. Look what happens at 180, nicely. We hit it, 270, and then back to 360. A beautiful thing here, we get order 2, 180. Lots of the letters that we have in our alphabet have rotational symmetry. This S, if we rotated it at 180, would have a rotational order of 2 and map onto itself. The N would as well, and so on. We'll take a look at some specifics about uh, uh, rotational symmetry here under the document camera. Rotational symmetry, again, is quite fun because uh, it gets that swirling look about it. Uh, here is the case where you can see that it would have a rotational value of 3. That's a little harder to establish, but let me maybe just look at these three little guys here. Uh, let's see what I can do here. This is going to be very difficult to succeed in what I want to do, but we'll try it. So here's the idea that I should be able to rotate this. Uh, let's see, so you know, into this spot would be once. I know it's hard to tell. Into, whoa, this spot right here would be twice. And then back into its original spot the third time. In theory, I should be able to just keep going around and around and around and around, making that work. And so it has an order of 3. Think of it this way. 360 divided by 3 means each rotational value had to be 120. Let's try this S. This will be an easier example to understand and see it. And I'm just going to kind of sketch it. I'm using patty paper here. This stuff is amazing. One thing I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to make a little plus sign here at the center of my rotation so I can keep track of my how far I've gone. So there's 90. 
you can see I'm sideways to it. At 180, I come back and land right on it. Beautiful. At 270, I'm here. And then at 360, I'm right back where I started. So that is an order of 2 and an angle of 180, because at 180 degrees, I landed onto itself. Here again would be an angle of 120, an order of 3. Here, let's try uh, this guy, our parallelogram. So let me quick sketch him. This patty paper is great stuff for this. And again, I like to make a little plus sign to keep track of things. So here's one eight, uh, sorry, uh, 90, here is uh, 180, ding, 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 270, and then back. So again, we already knew this, 180, and an order of 2. One thing maybe to make mention, if you go around once, that's an order of 1 and 360. But basically, this means you have no rotational symmetry because you went all the way around. This is confusing to students because we want to put zero there. But one, an order of one, is no rotational symmetry. Let me quickly do a couple of these kind of shade in questions here. If we wanted to uh, have a 180 rotational value, I think shading this in would map at 180 and then back. So I think that's good. If you wanted 90, I think shading something like these three would be good because you'd get there at 90, 180, 270, 360. Uh, 180 here, that's kind of a cool one. But probably here, right? Because then you'd get 180 to here and 180 right back where you started. And let's see, 90 out of here I think would be the four corners, right? because as you went 90 in each of those directions. Rotational symmetry is a little harder for us to understand, but I'll tell you what, if you got some patty paper, uh, you are in good shape. So for instance, we could even test this out. So there's our two shaded boxes, and then there's 90, and there's our 180, bing, 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 right on top of itself. All right, good luck, guys.